Uh, and with that, it's been nice knowing you. This podcast is being canceled. <laughs> On the podcast today, it's You Laugh, You Lose, the Father's Edition, as we come off Father's Day weekend this week. Let's meet our contestants. Dane. I'm Dane. I'm father of two, a 12-year-old and a 9-year-old. And Justin. I'm father of three, making me the better father. I have uh, more busy. Less of you. Yeah. Nine, seven, and three, about to be four. Jane, uh, tell us the story uh, about uh, having a little education with one of your children. Yeah. Uh, when my daughter was three years old, we were very specific about teaching her the anatomically correct words for body parts. So we're out at a restaurant, a fancy restaurant, with my dad. And my daughter says to Grandpa, Grandpa, you have penis? <laughs> and he couldn't stop laughing, so she kept going and getting louder uh -huh, and louder. Uh -huh. uh, Grandpa, you have penis? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, Order your ice cream. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you, some story uh, about a family cat. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was a couple Christmases ago, right before Christmas, we had to put our, our uh, we had two cats. Uh, we had to put one of them down, and my wife did not want to tell the kids and ruin Christmas that the cat died. So we just decided we keep it to the other side of Christmas. This cat was more reclusive, would often kind of just like stay under beds and hide in our room. And so the kids didn't always see the cat. And uh, so that was December 22nd that the cat died, and we ended up telling the kids about it in uh, late April. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like good parenting. Yeah, yeah. They, they never missed the cat. <laughs> They never asked a question about the cat, no. <laughs> nope, not once. Yeah. Well, that's what we have to work with here today, folks. Here's the deal. The you, you laugh, you lose rules are they're each going to be doing dad jokes, and if the other laughs, chuckles, snickers, they will lose a point, and the opponent will gain. And I will be the judge as to whether All right. anything you do that. constitutes a laugh. Can a we question? appeal your decision? No. No, there's no, no appeal. How, My show. How judgmental are you? <laughs> Very judgmental. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, we have two rounds today. Round number one, it's Father's Choice. They're coming in with uh, pre-selected dad jokes, and... Uh, he goes first. All right. Okay. He He's more prepared. Yeah. So Dane gets the first joke. When you die, if you get a choice between going to regular heaven and pie heaven... I would go with pie, Evan. It might be a trick, but if it isn't, mm, mm. Tim He's got nothing. Yeah. Made me laugh. I tried. All right. Nothing. Well, he's going to be a tough opponent. <sighs> All right. On Father's Day, my daughter bought me a book about glue. I can't put it down. Because <laughs> it's glue. It's glue. About glue. Uh, nothing. It's hard. Nothing. To get rid of, right? If God dwells inside us, as some people say, I sure hope he likes enchiladas because that's what he's getting. You holding it together? Okay. It. Nothing? No, Nothing. that was bad. Just in um, Why couldn't the pony sing himself a lullaby? Because he was mm -hmm. a little horse. It's a little, little horse. horse. Little horse. No. no. Kind of grin. Mm -hmm. But, uh, Nothing. A horse? Or These two. Yeah. These two. They're supposed to be the fun pastors. <sighs> Just uh, funny. One more each this round. Okay. You know what would make a good story? Something about a clown that makes people happy, but he's really sad inside. Also, he has diarrhea. <laughs> That's why he's sad inside. Is the, wait, that was the punchline. I, I would yeah, lose yeah, this yeah, game. Uh, you are I'm a trying. tough opponent. Yeah, the jokes aren't funny. Didn't get me. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Over the chest. Yeah. Hey, my dad invented a car that runs on herbs. He basically invented time travel. <laughs> yeah, there's a oh, yeah. No, no, it's not doing it for me. Okay. And that wraps up round one. Dad's choice. Now we have host's Ooh. choice. Yeah pastoral edition of You Laugh, You Lose. They have not seen these in advance, and so it'll be new to each other. Uh, in this round, since they're seeing them for the first time, if the reader laughs, oh. you also give up a point. Oh, that's so, good. Two laughs. This might be a little tricky. Kind of mm -hmm. a, so uh, this round, we'll uh, start over here with Justin. Tip it. 
typical form. I usually laugh the most at my own jokes. <laughs> so. I think if you go in for a job interview as a pastor, a good question to ask is if they ever press charges. Nice try. That wasn't one of mine. That must have been. Mm. Did you put that one in there? <laughs> what do they call pastors in Germany? German shepherds. No. Not working. Come on. You're making the host laugh pretty well here. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I once officiated the most beautiful, most emotional wedding, even though wedding cake was in tears. Mm. That's a bad dad joke. <laughs> Over to you. Let's see here. Okay. If a child asks, why does it rain, tell them it's because God is crying. And if the child asks, why is God crying, tell them probably because of something you did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he showed his close. teeth. What? Is that a point? I think I'm going to give that point. Oh. Oh. There's no appeal. <laughs> why did Noah reprimand the chickens on the ark? Mm -hmm. Because they were saying a lot of foul things. Pretty good joke. I don't find Justin that funny. So, How do we know God loves baseball? Well, he started his book in the big inning. The big inning. Uh, no. Classic no. pastor joke. We were on the good enough years. Oh, yeah. I have a joke about a wedding reception hostess who made the guests line up for beverages. I don't remember the entire joke. All I know is there was a long punchline. <laughs> no! He laughed. Oh, he laughed! I did. That was funny. <laughs> oh, this is okay. working out really well for me. All right. A naked man broke into a church. The police chased him around and finally caught him by the organ. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. I thought that was a, a joke one. for you. Well, yeah. 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 I appreciate yeah. that. The winner is Dane! Glad you could win me. something. Yeah. Yeah. Before we go, you can redeem yourself now for two points each. You don't even know this is coming. Ooh. I Surprise. spoke to both oh. of your families, and I asked them three questions about dad. The first question I asked is, what would your dad say is his favorite food? Now, these are worth two points. What did your children say? Key lime pie. Key lime pie is correct. Nice. Wow. Like ding. <laughs> I'm going to go okay. with pizza. Pizza is correct. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Five they know five. the foods. I feel like we're in this like together that. now. Yeah. These yeah. are going to they're going to be increasing in intensity okay. here. Okay. We asked your children, "What is your dad not very good at?" Start with you this time. What would your children say? You're not children very good. Children say I'm not very good at. There's so many things. <laughs> uh, crafts. Crafts. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. They said you're not very good at fixing things. Oh, that's true. Is that's that fair? True. Yes. Yeah. They said fixing things. Okay. Uh, so many so things. Over to you. So many things. I'm going to go with bad dad jokes. Mm. No. They said you're not very good at not getting injured at softball. Yeah. <laughs> it's been about four times. <laughs> <laughs> this is it then. Uh, if your dad was not a pastor, what job do you think he should have? This is the kids, huh? The kids, yeah. I'm going to go with uh, truck driver. No, well, no. Mm. You probably drive a truck too pick up dead bodies for the mortuary. Oh, <laughs> you familiar back with that? to my past, yeah. I Did you do, do that? that? Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, body removal. Yep. Wow. You, you were like a fixer at crime scenes. I mean, I don't know if they were crime scenes. <laughs> <laughs> they never told me. <laughs> okay, well, then, then, then no, nothing there. You've had a chance to think. What would your uh, kids say I think would my, be your job if you were a pastor? Yeah, I think my kids would probably say something like around politics, city council. They've been infatuated with me being on city council. The children said, city council? Oh, bing, 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 bing. And with that, Justin ties it. In your face. 
Glad we can keep you ego. Thank you. Pretty yeah. high. And that is You Laugh, You Lose, Dad and Pastor Edition. Follow the podcast Beyond the Altar on Facebook and YouTube. Like it, love it, comment on it, share it. What else can you do to it? Uh, laugh at it. Laugh at it, yeah. Yes. Or roll your eyes at it. And we'll See. look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you for sticking around through the entire podcast. Now you get a bonus. You get the late night version of You Laugh, You Lose. Why do ducks have feathers on their tails? To cover their butt quacks. <laughs> uh, what's the difference between light and hard? <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Okay. Wow. What do you got? Did I tell you that I go to Wimbledon every year? I've heard it's a woman's single event. Okay. okay. What's the difference between an oral thermometer and a rectal thermometer? <laughs> and with that, it's been nice knowing you. This podcast is being canceled. <laughs> We're all losing our job. Don't think too lowly. <laughs> the call committee is busy in the bathroom right now. We'll uh, hope to see you again. Thanks for supporting Beyond the Altar. Bye.